This is the National Museum of Computing's Elliot 803. Got John at the back there doing some repairs on a board. Uh, it's the processor, the four processor cabinets. And here's our new acquisition, a Calcomp 565 drum plotter. And got it working on the machine today for the first time using a interface up here which uh, watches the instruction register for the plotter instructions and then pulses the, uh, the serial lines which drive the plotter. So I'm going to load a program via the what we call the paperless tape station. Uh, this is another interface board I've built which is uh, tucked away in the side there in the bubble wrap which takes the place of the second paper tape reader. Um, I've selected the binary straight curves program. You probably can't see that on the display. It says binary straight curves. So I'm now going to download that uh, into the reader. That's the same as putting a reader in the tape. Come over here, I've set up a jump to location zero. Uh, let's put that into the instruction register. Normal. And that's loading the program. That's going slightly faster than a real paper tape reader would go. Uh, I'm going to set up the jump address for the start of the program, which is 5120. Uh, we now need a data tape, so I'm going to select Kingfisher and put that in the tape reader. Uh, Right, the reader, the plotter is ready to go. We'd operate normal. And that's now reading the data. You can see it being echoed there. Let me come over here to the plotter, and hopefully we'll get here before it starts to move.